Shalom, brothers and sisters. I wanted to announce this coming Friday evening on the 11th at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, which will be the Day of Atonement or the Day of Awe. I'm hosting a live here on the End Time Warrior channel for fellowship, prayer, and communion for all to join. This will be a very special night of repentance through our love and our intimacy for Father. And Father has revealed that his power, his signs, his visitations will happen this night. So let's get ready for it. We need to get ready for it. Remember, this is a holy day starting at sunset on the 11th of October to the nightfall or sunset of the 12th of October. Pretty much sunset to sunset. So please, no work, no burdens, no worldly business as this is a holy day. Time of prayer, reading the word, worshiping, and just time that consists of Father is what is required on this day. And as the days are leading up to the Day of Atonement, offer up a sacrifice unto God, laying our bodies down as a living sacrifice, leading up to the holiest of holy days to confess our sins in order that we may find grace and favor and forgiveness and deliverance in order to receive God's power and his spirit on the Night of Atonement is how we prepare spiritually for that outpouring and visitation coming upon us that night from the Lord of hosts. So I invite the saints of God to gather this coming Friday on the 11th at 7.30 p.m. Central Time for the gathering of the Day of Atonement so we in body and in spirit and in truth can pour out our hearts through repentance and receive Father's blessing upon us. Please don't miss out and pray. Please pray about this. Maybe God is moving your heart to gather by watching this video. But pray about gathering. Pray about what you can bring unto Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, in prayer that would be most pleasing unto Father. Maybe the Lord requires something specifically from you in this gathering, but go pray and find out what it is before you partake. And please don't forget your communion elements of bread and wine, which consist of red wine or red juice or matzo bread or crackers, preferably bread or crackers with no leaven in them. But you can bring regular crackers. That will do if you can't assess any unleavened bread or crackers. For more information or questions, please email me. My email will also be in the description below. Guys, this is going to be a glorious night to gather with many signs and wonders also happening too. I hope to gather with you all and I cannot wait to gather with you all as the Day of Atonement will be a very miraculous special night for the body of Christ indeed. So let's gather together for it in spirit and in truth. I love you all and hopefully we'll see you soon. Shalom.